Ndiche, where is the Kemma? Your Majesty. Um, she's not in the palace at the moment. I don't know. Where did she go to? I wouldn't know, Your Majesty. When she returns, tell her I seek to see her in my chambers. Okay, Your Majesty. In the meantime, um, go and clean my chambers. It's morning already. As Your Majesty pleases. the almighty queen's room. This place is so beautiful. It is heaven on earth. Hi. Oh my goodness. What a beauty in a man. This must be Prince Dimpa, the heir apparent to the throne of Amandua. He's so handsome. Your Majesty. You are not yet done? Uh, not yet, Your Majesty, but soon I will. You have to hurry up. Soon. Be this cute. He looks more like a painter's craft. I swear, please forgive me. It will not happen again. You left your duties unattended to this morning before you left the palace. And you're begging me to forgive you. My chamber was supposed to be your primary assignment and you left it unkept. What were you thinking? That the queen will sit in an unkept chamber? Is that what you are thinking? My queen, I'm sorry. It was an emergency. Oh, really? <laughs> My sick father collapsed this morning. And I was cold. So I quickly ran to attend to him. Hoping that you still be asleep before I come back. Please forgive me. Really? Get up. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Go in there, pack your things, and leave this palace now. My queen, please. Please. Get up and leave this palace. Ma, please, this is how I make my money to buy drugs for my father. And if I stop working here, I won't be able to buy drugs for my father. Please forgive me. Did you hear me? Yes, ma'am. So get up, pick your things, and leave this. Get up and get out! My queen, please. I forgive said me. leave! <laughs> Wow. Everywhere is so clean. She's better than the Kemma. From today she takes on. Okay, 
Okay, mach. Okay, mach. <lacht> Excuse me. Okay. Oh, my God. Why are you crying? Tell me. The queen sent me out of the palace. What did you do? <laughs> because I went to see my sick father before coming to clean our room. Just that? Yes. But why would she do a thing like that? No. So she asked you to leave and never to return? Yes. Oh, I'm going to miss you. We are all going to miss you in this palace. <gasps> so sorry. So sorry. Please, stop crying. I beg you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll come and see you later. <laughs> oh, I miss you too, okay, ma. Please stop crying. Just because she went to attend to her sick father, she was sent out of the palace, just like that. All her services, all her labor of so many years in the palace is forgotten just like that. Ndichi, you have to learn from this. These people don't have our interest at heart. As long as they are concerned, we are nothing but slaves in their sight. Imagine punishing me for going to see my sick mother. Who else am I working for if not my mother? How are you today? I'll be fine. Thank you. 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 Thank
Fine, if you grant me my last wish. I promise you that your last wish will be granted. That's a promise. Where is my son? Why is he not here now? Um, he will be boarding his flight tonight. By tomorrow morning, we'll be here together to see you. I want to see my son. I want to see Dikba. What is holding him? And I promise you that we will be here in the morning. You will be fine, Your Highness. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Your Majesty. Oh no. Your Highness. Oh no. Your Highness. How many times did I call you? Three, Your Highness. Give me your heart. Oh no. Your Highness. I'm happy this feeling. You are going to disappoint me. Well, I finally enjoyed my ancestors. Why? How? My last wish. Your last wish? Yes. Oh. Your last wish must be fulfilled as long as I live, Your Majesty. Hmm. Oh. Your Majesty. Remember, the girls are watching you. I know, Your Majesty. And I'm not about killing you. <sighs> oh no. Your Majesty. Where is she? Um, I reliably learned that the prince will be in this country in the next 24 hours. So I arranged that she will be around uh, a day after the prince arrived. That's all right. That is very good. Thank you very much. Your Majesty. The prince is coming back today. Yeah. I don't think the king will survive this sickness. So, the prince... Hey, how did you know that the prince will survive this sickness? Hmm. Huh. The doctor already said that. That's why the, the prince is coming back to take a wife and replace his father if he eventually dies. How many of you have seen the prince? No one has actually seen the prince. He was born and bred in America. He's actually coming back to Africa for the first time. Well, I have seen the prince. Ndiche. Yes, I have. Hey, Ndiche. Where did you see him? I see him every morning. He's the first person I see immediately after my morning prayers. Hey, someone has gone mad. Excuse me. DJ, someone is at the gate to see you. His name is Nick as well. My mother. Yeah. What's the problem? Yeah. How is my mother? DJ. Uh -huh. Mama had an attack. And we went to her room to look for Ayela. And we found out that Ayela has finished. Ayela finished? Yes. Oh my goodness. Uh, uh, okay, how is she faring now? Muamaro, Muamaro. I don't think she will survive it though. Hey. That is why I came to call you. How can you say a thing like that? Of course she will survive it. But uh, the thing is, I, I, I have to go with you now. But before then, let me tell the queen. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. Please. She's a very mean woman. She might not allow me to go with you. Please. But I, I, I have to go and see my mother now. Better. Let's just go. Okay. Let's just go. Mama, 
，妈妈，妈妈。Oh, hey, your hair has finished, and the nurse warned me not to allow this inhaler finish. Mama, let me let me go get money and get your inhaler. I'm coming, I'm coming. Please hold on, hold on for me, Mama. Oh. Please, do you have any money on you? Hey, money what? I have 15 naira. Hi, Onye. See, I, I have to rush to the palace now. Yeah. I need to see if I can get money from any of the mates. Okay. I have to buy inhaler for my mother. It's very critical. How do I look, mother? <laughs> you look like a mother. I look good, yeah? <laughs> Your father will be the happiest man on earth. Oh, yes, father. How is he? We are going to see him right now, but first of all, we have to go in. Very well, mother. Oh, mother, I have missed you so much. about to tell you now is um, a top secret. It's only known between I and the know. Um, mother, is there a problem? Your father is at the verge of death. What? Father? The doctor said he has um, less than a month to live. He's suffering from cancer. Cancer of the lungs. Father. Mother. What do we do now? Your father have a son like you. So he won't die a sad man. All we have to do now is to help fulfill his last wish. Which is? Which is you getting married to Onobu's daughter, Sophia. Sophia studied uh, from Oxford University. In fact, she came out the best in her set. Really? Yes, your father chose her because of her exposure. He believes that um, you need such a woman as a queen to rule this kingdom. Am I even ready to? Rule this kingdom. 
all the same mother. You've just been talking about, you know, the kingdom, the throne. Did you even miss me? Yes, I did. How could you even ask that? <laughs> I was just wondering. What... See, look, I don't wake up here without seeing your face. Each morning I wake up from this bed, the first thing I look at is your... Your... Your picture. Your. What happened to it? Your portrait. I don't really see it here. Here. Yeah. <laughs> so, are you trying to tell me that someone came in here and took something without your consent? This is what I'm trying to figure out. is not in the palace, Majesty. Where did she go? Someone came to call her from her Majesty. And she left? What is wrong with these children? She just left without informing anyone. Okay, okay. Who is there? Oh, here she is. Ndiche! Where are you coming from? Your Majesty, my mother. My mother oh, just, just stop it there. That's the only lie you know how to form in this palace. I'm not lying to you, Your Majesty. I am looking for my son's portrait. Are you aware of that? Um. Yes. I. I. I took it. You what? I took it, Your Majesty. And where is it? I kept it. I'll bring it. Mom. <laughs> Mom, I, I just want to see here. Yeah. I don't understand. I don't get it. This is crazy. <laughs> Why would she take that picture? Don't worry, Mother. I'm here. I'm here right now, huh? I'm here. Majesty. What? You stole my son's picture? No, Your Majesty. I'm not a thief. You? I... You went into my mother's room to steal my picture? No, um, Dad, my pre- Your Highness! I, I, I'm not a thief, please. Lock her up the uh, palace I couldn't have stolen it. My mother is dying. She needs it, Hela, Your Majesty, please. My mother is dying, please, Your Majesty. She needs it, Hela. My son, father, I'm happy with me alive. My soul cannot depart in peace. Father, why are you talking like this? I'm right here. I heard of your ill, Ill um, status um, just a while ago and um, I had to come here to be with you. But I'm here now, Father. Okay? I am here to take good care of you. I promise. So, take over from your father. That is the way of life. I took over from my father. Who took over from his own father? What life must go through this journey? As I go the way of my father, I pray that you keep to my wish. Lolo. Your Highness. Have you spoken to your son? Yes, Your Highness. Well, Dad, Mother already spoken to me. It's not a problem. I promise I will do anything you want me to. Anything. I will stay by your bedside. I will, um, I will get you food. I will, I will make sure I take good care of you. And I promise I will do whatever you want me to do, okay? Just that get is, well, Father. I'm so happy. Uh, 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 Your Highness, please. You have to come down. It's okay, Father. 
Do you, <coughs> it's okay. mother, should I, should I get no, the doctor? No, 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 you will be fine. Your Highness, it's okay. He's here. Your son is here. Again. Father, I'm here. I will take care of you, okay? Yeah. Always stay by your side. And, uh, <coughs> it's okay. It's okay. Sorry, Dad. Sorry. <coughs> My office, you will see a yellow bag on my office table. I'll keep the bag with you when I need it. I will let you know. Thank you, sir. Good. to the land beyond. Doctor, please make sure nobody knows about this. I'm not a stranger in this kingdom. I already know. As a matter of fact, none of my staff members is aware of this. Then, thank you so much. I shall summon a council of elders. And we shall take off from here. Please find a suitable time. to visit me your much I am already working towards that. Hey, I shall let the queen know what the time is right.
No, we scared the daylight out of me. Your Majesty. Has it happened? Your Majesty. I know I asked the question. Has it happened? Your Majesty, the great Irokotri has fallen. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please. Go and post on this one now. Son, and your daughter in law are finally married. Eh? As of now, the Council of Elders are aware of it. The daughter said he told his staff that the king had been transferred to a higher medical institute of healing. So, for now, the king's death is secret. Nobody must hear it. Please, do not tell the palace servants. Please, no. Eh? I will tell my son. Yes, the prince will hear it. But please tell him not to broadcast it. Please. Please. I knew something was wrong when they told me that you had the reality. I knew that something was wrong. Oh my God. Oh my God. I will say how you feel about the cast, please. Oh, Your Majesty. Ha! Oh. Mother. Yes, son. It is obvious. Father had been waiting for me all this while. Exactly. Such a good man he was. Yeah. I pray his gentle soul finds internal peace. You see. You know this goes a long way to show how much father believed in me. The more reason you shouldn't disappoint your father. Never, Mom. I would never 
disappoint my father. Your bride is on her way. You should be getting ready to welcome her. It's okay, my mom. I'm ready. I am ready. Thank you, son. attack she had. I beg of you, please. It's very important to me. Ndiche, you know I would have loved to help you. But you know, the, you know nobody leaves this palace without the queen's permission. And you know that. I don't want to fall in your head. Please. It's my best day, mm -hmm. happiest day, is an understatement. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Is it easy for one's only daughter to travel to the white man's land and come out the best graduate student? Hey! She beat all her counterparts, both white and black. She beat them hands down. We are to I'll feel you back safe and sound. No. Is it easy? It's not that one. No. But, oh no, you forget one thing. What did I forget? Are you forgotten that this same daughter of yours will soon be the next crown queen of this our great kingdom? <laughs> uh, why would I have forgotten that? How would I have forgotten I that? I didn't forget that. She must be <laughs> on her own part. How could I have forgotten? Is your Akuba Ogbu? Oh, no, that's it. That is the talk of the day now. Hmm? But before I could reach there, you have already taken away the words from my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, meanwhile, keep drinking. Because very soon, goodies will fill this place. Because I can The kitchen is too busy now. Hmm? By the time they are done, good things will begin to fly into here. Hmm? Put four footed tears and there. Uh, do you want to go? Why are you married? It's my time. But you know, you know we just lost our kid. We are supposed to be mourning by now. Hey! Are you not saying this? I am disappointed. Have you? Oh, bro, I'm not here. Are you an Ichiri? I do not know our tradition. The morning will only start after the official announcement. It is your cook. What men are you? But before then, it is assumed that Digo is still alive. Receiving treatment in one of those places. Huh? So until his death is officially announced, go ahead and keep married.
tell me. So when are you going to see your Prince Charming? Well, when is the Prince Charming coming to see me? Baby girl. This is not UK. This is Africa. Men look out for their lovers. Not the other way around. So baby girl. But then he's a prince. He's royalty. He has some dignity to protect. Yes, he's a prince of the world. But to me, he's the man that wants to woo me. So baby girl. Let him come for me, not me going after him. Oh, yeah, baby. I didn't know about that. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go. Really? Is this your house? Oh, wow. Like, no, 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 no. I'm just going to pack my things on the stage and just come over here. Oh, yeah. 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 Have you been looking for me? Yes, I went to your room, but I didn't see you there. Is there a problem, mother? Problem? No, your bride to be arrived 30 minutes ago. Oh, great news. Uh, great news. I was thinking you should go and, and see her. Mother. Yes. I am the crown prince of this kingdom. The king to be. So I think it's only right for her to come see me and not the other way around. Son, that is your bride-to-be. In this other part of the world, our men go for their bride, not the other way around, son. Come on, you should go and see her. I see. So when are you going to see her? Very soon, mother. Mm. Very soon. Okay. You said so. I said it before. <laughs> yes. When we are done with this, others are still coming. Mm -hmm. We're going to go down. Bring me No, we're bending the bed. I know you're going to go. I know you're going to go. Oh, no. Well, no, no, I think I'm better. Yeah. You're ready. 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 You're the prince will surely be here. I don't know what is still keeping. Definitely he must be here. Hmm? Number one. Father, you are pressurizing me on phone to come back. Now I'm here that the prince is this, the prince is that, the prince is the other one. And I'm now here. The prince is nowhere to be found. Please, father. If the prince is, is not ready for this marriage, you should just let me know so I can go back to the UK and do something with my life. So staying here waiting for him all day, all night, waiting for him for no reason. Mom, don't bother yourself so much. The prince will surely come down to see you here today. Huh? Adarwai. Obi Juaga. Adarwai. Go down. The prince will surely come. The person we're talking about here is the head apparent to the throne. Mm. You don't expect him to just rush like that. Monday, Prince, yeah, oh, wow, now, maybe I'll wake up Relax. You don't know. You don't have any time to He's just going down the door. No, 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 don't worry. I'm a resident. She's my only daughter. I'm going back to the UK. What are these thoughts? Why would he ignore me like that? Meanwhile, he's reason I'm in town. Calm down, baby. Calm down. Stop getting yourself worked up, okay? You will soon see him. He will soon come. So why were they pressurizing me as if I was one holding everyone? Now I'm here. I'm doing nothing. The prince didn't come to see me. You just arrived. 
why don't you rest for at least a day after spending all those hours? Ah, all those boring hours on air. Why can't you rest for at least one day? And then you see he's going to come around. I don't I don't see any reason why you should bother yourself. You're just making something out of nothing. So relax. You must baby girl. Okay? Okay. Take a chill pill. It's fine. I don't like it when you're sick. Mother. What is going on? What's going on? Your bride to be is in town. She flew all the way from the UK to see you. I know, Mother. I'll go and see her. When? It's night already. Like there's no tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, I have to go to her father's house to see her. You should be making effort towards achieving your father's last wish. Mother. I gave my father my words, and I am going to keep it. You don't have to worry yourself, mother. Okay? I'm going inside and rest. You have to go there first thing tomorrow morning. I will. First thing tomorrow morning. First thing tomorrow morning, mother. I promise. I promise. I'll stop smiling about it. Mother. Singing that song. Oh, Ndiche, the prisoner. A prisoner. The one that stole your picture, your picture frame in, in Lola's chamber. So she has been the one that sings every night. It's my place. Ah. Very well. Thank, Thank you. you. Where she is, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. You have been relieved of your duties in this palace. Go in there and pick your bag. Take this palace now. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. My bag! My bag! Please. 
to see if I could borrow money from any of the maids. But I didn't even know that the queen was already waiting for me because she noticed the absence of her son's portrait which was in her chambers. And I was the only person that assessed the chamber. And she asked me if I took it. What did you tell her? I accepted because I took it. Why would you take something that doesn't belong to you? I didn't know she would notice the absence. I, I saw it and liked it. But I apologized to her. She didn't listen to me. She threw me inside the cell. I stayed there for days. I even pleaded with her that my mother was unwell. All my pleadings fell on deaf ears. Then she brought me out this morning and told me that I've been relieved of my job. I should go. But my major concern was to come and see you. Then I got in here and looked everywhere for you. I didn't see you. I felt something had happened to you. And I thought I was going to die. I showed I was dying. Until a hand came and tapped on me. It was Nurse Eliza. Oh. She gave me a new inhaler. I, I used it and I got revived. Oh. My God will bless that woman. Who must have called her? Ah, it must have been, um, what's that his name? That your Nye friend? Kozulu. Oh, Nye Kozulu. It must have been him. God will bless that boy. Amen. I even went to his house, but he wasn't there. Oh, he must have gone to the market to sell his um, bushmeat. Mama, yes. I want you to know that I am going to be with you from now onwards. I have been sacked from the palace. But I will have to go back there to, to collect my salary. At least I can start a mini business with it. Okay. We will survive from there. Yes. I'm happy you're alive, Mama. We'll survive. I'm happy to. Yes. Nothing will happen to you.
Kingdom. My prince. I greet you. Oh, welcome, prince. Welcome. Thank you. My prince. Yes. Let me have the pleasure of taking my future king inside my palace. Well, you know, I would prefer I sit out here. <sighs> Doesn't it look absurd? That my king came to my boot and he's sitting outside. He's, I think it's a, it's a religion. <laughs> Follow me in, my dear, my prince. Well, you know, I insist. <laughs> Okay. Yes. Okay. If my prince insists, where am I? Let me not go and get the object of it. Very well then. You're welcome. Once again. Thank you very much. My children. <laughs> yeah, uh, Ada. I posted a picture and you didn't like it. I didn't see the picture. You're supposed to like it and comment on it. I picture. didn't see the picture. Do you like it? This is nice. Oh my god, just kiss you got your red. It's so lovely. Oh! Oh! Ada? Ada? The prince is here to see you. Please don't keep you waiting for so long. Huh? All right, Father. Adam. I'm coming. So should I go in and change something else? No, mm, you're okay the way you are. But please, can I call with you to see your Prince Charming? Ah, Prince Charming, yes, you can go. Yeah! Mm. Uh -uh. Can we go? Come with me, your Prince Charming! Oh. Hello, beautiful. Thank you so much. Okay, so we meet my friend I'm Karin. Hi. Hello, Karin. Nice to meet you. My pleasure. Okay, friends, why don't you come and let me say something nice to drink? Well, you see, I did not come here to be entertained by you. I actually came here to take you out on a treat. Well, that's great. Why don't you just sit there with Queen and change something very nice? And then I'll be back. Very well then. I will be waiting. Alright. See ya. Yeah. Bye. Okay. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Okay, okay, you know what? I am going to make a choice of clothes for you to wear. Because mm -hmm. you really, really, really have to look dope for you your man. Girl. So, what's the choice to make? Do you think that you're Alexander McQueen? Yes, my wardrobe. You want to wear that? Thank you. This piece is very nice. I love it. Really? Yes, I do. It's very nice. Well, thank you. Well, you're welcome. 
<laughs> so, um, Sophia. Yes. Tell me more about yourself. I'm smart. I'm very intelligent. Um, I'm a nice girl, but people say I'm proud. Eh? People will always talk about you, but all I know is that I am very, very focused. Well, that's nice. Very nice. So tell me, tell me about yourself. Well, I'm a very simple person. I believe so much in simplicity. Is that all? Well, that will go a long way in telling who exactly I am. Okay. So do you smoke? Because I don't like smokers. What else don't you like? I don't like guys that pretend. I don't like guys that cheat. And I don't like guys that are not focused. Well, I see. And I hope you're not all of this. If not, it's not going to work. So? to her and she accepted my proposal. But you don't seem happy about this, right? Those my happiness counts anymore. I don't understand. Well mother I will be in my room.
Is anybody at home? Who is there? It's me. Hey. Not Eliza. You're welcome, my dear. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Well, thank God I met you at home. I came in respect of the hell I gave your mom last time. Yes. Um, yes. I said I was even going to come and thank you for what you did for my mother. Yes. God bless you for saving her life. No problem. I am grateful. No problem. Thank you. Zeno. My money. Yes. Um, the money is not ready now. Can I pay you much later? Maybe tomorrow evening. Why don't you give it to me now? That's because I don't have it now. Don't worry yourself. I'll bring it tomorrow evening. In fact, I will personally bring it to your shop. Please. Hey. Please. Don't fail me. Are you sure you're going to bring it in the evening? Elisa, you did me a great favor. Why would I disappoint you? I will try my best. I'll bring it. Please. Just make sure you bring it in the evening. I will. By the way, how is Mama? She's she's better now. I hope she's okay now. Mm. All right now. I'll be expecting you in the evening. Thank you. Please don't oh. don't fail me. No 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 no. Thank you. Thank you. Read Mama for me. Oh thank you. Have you not been relieved from your duty in this palace? Yes, I know I have. But please, I'm here to see the Queen. It's very important. I'm sorry you can't see her. She's very busy. I know. But I don't mind waiting for her inside. <sighs> Dimba, you are no longer an ordinary mortal. Soon you'll be crowned king. And kings are seen as gods among others. It's no longer going to be about you. So many things about you will change. Because it's going to be about the throne and this kingdom. You see, sir, when a good king marries a bad woman, Without him knowing it, he will become bad. Not because he wants to. But um, it will happen because women have influence over their men. And that will change his decision and principles. Well, Mom, I am not complaining. I know you may not be verbal, but I can see through you. You are my son. I know when you're happy and when you are not. That's why you have to consider your father's choice. For the sake of this kingdom, son. Okay. Mother, I've heard what you said. I'm not yet done talking to you, son. If you excuse me, I'll be outside. Diva! I can't believe this is happening. It must be a joke now. Diva! Diva! Diva, I'm talking to you. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings. And what are you doing here? Your Majesty, please, I came to see if my salary can be paid. I need to buy my mother's inhaler and also to see if I can, I can start a small scale business to be able to...
Kata for my sick mother and myself. Were you not the maiden that stole my picture? I swear with my life, my praise, I did not steal it. I did not. Listen, the request is not granted. Hi. Any maiden sat from this palace does not receive salary. <gasps> so you get up there and go back to wherever you came in from. Please, Your Majesty, this is my only hope. I beg of you, please. Get up and leave. I say leave. <laughs> Mother, you didn't have to treat her like that. Huh? Why would you fire your worker without paying her off or compensation? That's wrong, mother. Not where she stole from me. Back to our, our discussion. Let's go back. Why, why, why did you answer me? Oh, mother, I've had enough. I need a break. You will not have any break in this house. You will listen to me in this house. Moses? Moses? Stop the car. Come. Call that girl for me. That's my place. The prince won't talk to you. You say you should come into the car. What do you mean I should come into the car? Stand up, my friend. Said, you said I should come into the car. Well, oh, yes. Please get into the car. Oh, my 
Set sit. DJ, I want to know two things. Tell me why you took my picture and what you were doing with it. I'm so sorry, my prince. I have never stolen all my life. I am not a thief. So tell me, what were you doing with it? My prince. The truth is that I have never entered a holy chamber all my life. So, the day I entered your mother's chamber, I was so amazed with what I saw. And then looking around, I saw a very beautiful picture. Then when I got closer, I found out that it was you. The picture was so beautiful. And my spirit told me that this is the Prince of Amanduba. And aside that, I really adored the picture. Because I've never seen a picture as beautiful as that. That was why I took it, my Prince. I did not take it because I wanted to steal it. I liked it. Just that. Just that, my Prince. I mean no harm. I don't know if you really believe me, but that picture means a whole lot to me and that was why I took it. I'm not a thief. Very well. It's alright. But you see, um, I have been meaning to ask you this question. Why do you sing every night? I mean, what's your inspiration? My prince. It's... You really want to know? Of course. I want to know everything. My prince, it's a long story. Well, I am not in a hurry. So tell me. It has to do with the circumstances surrounding my birth. My mother is the most treasurable gift I have in my life. She means everything to me. Everything. She actually gave birth to me when she was a teenager. I have been asking you, you can't deny me. Look at you. You told me you were not pregnant. Hey, you change. Can you still deny it? Can you? No, uncle. So it means that you are pregnant. Yes. Listen, I don't want to know who is responsible. It is none of my business. But that genealogy, that blood that runs in your genealogy will be broken today. It will be broken today. Your grandmother had your mother and took and dumped her with her father's family. Left and got married without asking of her daughter. Which is your mother? Your own mother! Two! Hide you at two and dumped you with me. I have been the one taking care of you ever since. And now, you want to dump this thing for my children to suffer for tomorrow. No, it's a lie. It will not happen. If you know any way that is safe, for you and your unborn baby, pack your things and go to that place. For this thing, will, I will not allow you to be to it. Not in this house. Better go there. I love this to me, please. I love Oh, please, please, please. I'm begging you. What do you want me to do right now? To allow you to keep back to this pastor, this state, in my own house? It will not happen. You can't. Uh, no, not me. I can never rest. 
Aku dah pasti ada masuk. Aku beli. Lagi lagi modal lagi apa? Aku beli aduk kopi. Aku beli. Aku beli lagi apa? Aku beli dah cuma biasa beli. Aku beli. Aku beli. Aku beli nak cuma ada dua beli tu aku beli. Aku beli aku beli aku beli. Beli aku nak cuma ada dua beli tu aku beli. Aku ada beli tu aku beli. Aku nak cuma ada dua beli tu aku.
on your cause I run away, I on your cause I run away. On your cause I run, on your cause I run. On your on your What are you doing here? I, I, I was sent out by. Wait. It's okay. What are you doing here? I mean, instead of you to sleep in such open and unsafe place, why not go to Ila? I mean, it will not cost you anything there to get a hut. Instead of you to sleep here and open yourself to danger. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Like this hut now. <laughs> Nobody's living here. The rent is only 500 naira a month. <laughs> if you work in this farm settlement, there's no how you will not raise money to take care of yourself and your unborn child. <laughs> My daughter, no one knows the hate <laughs> that will wear the crown tomorrow. <laughs> Please, my daughter, you have to live here. Have your child here. So that you can give your child a better life. <laughs> Instead of crying like one that does not have hope. <laughs> thank Please. you very much. I'll very well be great to thank you. <laughs> stand up, stand up. Thank you very much. You are my, my daughter. Please stand up. <laughs> Anna 
any father. I am both father and mother to you. No grandmother came for your mogul. No relative came to say welcome to the newborn baby. I started baiting you from the very first day I gave birth to you. Nobody came to help me. I didn't stay indoor for three months after giving birth to you. I carried you to different farmlands for us to be able to feed and pay rent. <laughs> to see the only point of us in our own little world. <laughs> Mother, stop crying. I will make you Sunday. Thank you, Richard. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> mm. My prince. My mother suffered so much. She suffered so much to give me the life I have today. That is why I don't joke with her at all. I mean, I can never joke with my mother. That's okay. Such a sad story. I'm really sorry about that. It's alright. So, um, what do you care for? Water? Wine? Anything? I don't want anything, my prince. I don't want anything. Oh, you know what, um, let me just take you home. No, my prince, it's not necessary. I'll find my way home. Well, I insist. I will take you home. Okay? Good. We'll leave it. So, 
This is where you live. Yes, my prince. And that's my mother over there. Oh, very nice. Um, here. This is for you and your mother. Oh, my prince. Bless you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You. By the way, um, your voice. You have a very wonderful voice. Thank you, mm -hmm. my prince. I like it. Thank you. Take care, I. the prince. He gave the money to us. The prince? Say a lot. A lot. I'm not used to. No, Mama, just have the money. No, have the money. Prince, where are we headed? I'll take me to the nose house. Okay, my prince. Mama, I waited and waited for so long, but I saw no one until suddenly the queen and the prince came out. But there must have been a controversy inside because all oh, wasn't well between the two of them. But the queen now came to me and asked me why I came to the palace. I told her I came to take my salary. Uh -huh, that's right. Then she said there's no payment for whoever that is fired from the palace. She said that. I'm telling you, Mama. She asked me to leave. <sighs> but trust me, Mama, I did not want to leave there without my money. So I went outside the palace gates and sat down there. I was crying. Mm -hmm. My intention was to stay there morning, night until I take my money. And I was there crying until the prince came out and saw me seated out there crying. Then he now asked me to come inside his vehicle. And then he brought me home. He brought you home and gave me the money. And the money he gave his more than they would have. Far more than my salary, mama. Hey. At least we can start the business yes. with this. Hmm? What, what, what kind of business are you looking at? At least corn business, pear, mineral, biscuits, corn. Chewing corn. This is the season. Corn. Hey. Coconut. And the ube. Hey. Ije ubolu. Mm -hmm. You buy it in bulk. Yes. With coconut. Mm -hmm. And pear. Ube. Yes. Kiji Lichi. Igota. Igota. <laughs> but I hope the, the fire from the corn won't change your color. It doesn't matter. Let's survive first. It doesn't matter. We sit in front of the fire. Eh? <laughs> <laughs>
Why will he make promises and he doesn't keep the time? Calm down. There's still time. Time. He's going to come. Come when? Say the time. I hate people treating me with disrespect. He said he was going to come. Say the time. Calm down, okay? Just calm down. Relax. My daughter. Father. Your husband is here. He's waiting for you. He's coming. And he said I was going. Well, if you don't want him anymore, can I have him? And I was so scared. <laughs> it's not fun. You can have him. Yeah. Oh my god! I'll see you soon. Bravo, Queen! Have fun, Edgar! Bravo, Queen! <laughs> Something very urgent came up and I had to attend to it. Well, I hate men that don't keep to their time. I'm not happy about it. I thought I'd just apologize to you. I said it's fine. So where are we up to? Well, I'm thinking, um, to the palace. Your house? Yes. To do what? Well, I thought we were getting to know each other. Well, I don't think it's the right time for me to get to your house. Why don't we go to somewhere nice, somewhere cozy, somewhere I can have fun, see good places, see good things? I think that's the best place to go to. Very well then. Alright. If you insist. I do insist. Let's go. Thank you so much. You've not said anything since we got to this place. Are you just boring? Sophia. Yes. You see, I was just wondering why you refused to follow me to the palace. We well, are getting married soon. And you are going to become the queen of this kingdom. So you should um, get acquainted with the palace behaviors. You know, get familiar with um, the palace guards, the maidens, and most especially the queen mother. That's not necessary. I'll be the queen of this kingdom. I don't need to be acquainted with anybody. 
All I have to do is give orders and they follow the orders. Oh. That's okay. And I hope you're not having any problem with my refusal of me going to the palace with you. That's my life. And my choice. So I'll decide when I'll go to the palace with you. Well, I'm not having a problem with that. I only said a piece of my mind. And I'm glad you've given me your reasons. So it's okay. I'm fine. Better. So when is the marriage first? When is holding? You see, I keep asking myself, what's the father see in that girl that made him choose her for me? I mean, she's so arrogant, so proud, so blunt. Now, these are the qualities I hate in women. Ironically, all those things that you just said now are wonderful qualities of a strong queen. And those are actually the qualities your father saw that made him pick her as your choice. Well, Mother, my father's choice is actually the longest choice for me. Because pride, arrogance, I hate this women. It's not about you, son. It's about this kingdom. Not you. Mom, are you trying to tell me that this kingdom needs a proud and arrogant woman? That is not what I'm trying to tell you. I am trying to tell you that you just met this girl. Give her a little space. I mean, give her a space in your life. Get to know her a little bit before you conclude. After all, your father didn't like his father's choice of wife. But after we got married, he began to see those qualities that the father saw that he couldn't see then. He began to believe in me and appreciated his father for the choice he made for him. So you will get to understand it, son. Okay? Well, I'm just wondering what I would like. An arrogant and proud girl. Yeah. Mm. Nothing. Trust me, mom, nothing. She will make a good queen, son. Come on. <laughs> well, it's not funny. But I'm not joking, though. It's not funny. <laughs> The king's death will only be announced when his son is fully married. So that upon the announcement of the demise of the king, his son is crowned king immediately. Then the commencement of the last of honor, which is his burial proper. Everything is in your hand. Even when you and your son are yet to give me a proper date for the wedding. You will hear from us soon. Remember, we don't have all the time in the world. I promise you that you will hear from us very soon, Lord. Let this too be a pretty one indeed. Oh no, we will stay. Okay. I come to you. So, can I have a minute with you? Go ahead, mother. Thank you. When are you fixing the date of your marriage? Because that's the only thing that is holding us from announcing your father's death to the public. Marriage with who? Did you ask that? Sophia, of course, your father's choice. Oh no, whose daughter? Mother. Yes. Can I at least just go back to the United States and live my normal life while someone else is crowned the king? God forbid. Do you understand what you said? You want another to take over the throne? Are you okay? Have you lost your senses? I know you don't have fever. 
Mother, I do not have feelings for her. Her attitude irritates me. Is that why you want to leave the throne for another? Is she the only maiden in this kingdom? Ah, okay. Mother, can I at least go out there and, and find another maiden I could make my wife? No, son, you can't. She is your father's choice. And you gave your father your word. And I gave him my words too. So it's too late. You can't just change it now. It's too late for this. Oh, now, was it a crime to be born into royalty? Was it a crime? You know what, son? Get ready. Your marriage will take place in the next two weeks. I'll get an event planner that will plan everything. So don't bother yourself. Everything will be all right. Must be your dream. Somebody wake me up. Must be your night. Max, I can't believe. This is my traditional wedding coming up in two weeks time. It doesn't want to be gonna be freaking kidding me. Anything like what? I mean, the queen has given you some cash to get the things you need, the necessary things you need. Hello? What else do you expect? My future husband. Where is he? Girlfriend, if you want to see your man, you know exactly where to find him. So are you saying I should be the one to go after him? That's not what I'm saying, okay? You're trying to mix this whole thing up. That's not what I'm saying. But I don't get it. What is wrong if you go see your husband to be? I don't see anything wrong in that. And sweetheart, I have my dignity to protect. No, I don't go after him. What dignity are you talking about? I mean, the last time I checked, um, we are talking about the next king of this kingdom. Among the both of you, I don't see who is dignified. So can you make me understand what you're saying? He may be the king of this kingdom, but he is also my husband. So girlfriend, he should woo me like a lady and not me green at time. So please. I am bigger than that. I'm not going to do that. I won't and I will never go after him. Mm. Girlfriend, you got a big ego. I know you got a big ego. Whatever. Well, you have to calm down, okay? Ah, Your Majesty. Yes. We have to know how many traditional rulers will be in attendance on that day. So we'll send an invitation to them right away. And also, we will send to the state governor. Mm. Most importantly, the bride and the groom have to choose their choice of color. So we could help combine on that day. In that case, you will need my son's attention. Oh, yes, Your Majesty. My dear, go and get me my son. Yes, my son. Yes, Tell him I need his attention right here. Okay, you mean the color yeah, to so help you combine the glass Yeah, color? so everything will look more matured and nice. Oh! You know this is an heavy occasion. Ah! You're right. My Prince. What? Her Majesty the Queen sent for you. She said your attention is needed urgently. Well, tell her I'm not in the mood to see anybody. I want to be left alone. Oh my prince, she's with a stranger. It's awful to send such message across to her while with a stranger. And the stranger I wish to see you, my prince. A stranger? Yes, my prince. I'll tell her I will be with her shortly. Okay, my prince. Okay, for the hall. Yeah, so cool. So that it should look more matured on that oh. day. Yeah.
Oh, where is it? It's coming on. Oh, okay. Ah, that's a very nice one. So the event will be colorful. Yes, Your Majesty. <clears throat> Mother. Good morning, my friends. Good morning. Please sit down. Are you the one looking for me? Yes. Um, I should want to ask you one or two questions. Very well then. Okay. Not just him, also with the bride. Well, in that case, I will have to go fetch her because she doesn't stay in the palace at the moment. Yes. Son, you can just call her on phone. No, mother. That will be disrespectful. I'll go fetch her. It's okay, Your Majesty. I'll wait. Okay. okay. You have to be fast, son. No problem, mother. My dear. My prince. How are you? I'm fine. Good afternoon. Where are you going to? You know, um, I opened um, a little mini shop at the farm settlement with that money you gave me. So my goods got finished. Oh, I went to buy things for my shop. Well, that's good. That's very good news. Yes, my prince. Hey, I'm so happy to see you today. <laughs> <laughs> well, same here. Well, you see, my traditional wedding is coming up next week, Saturday. Yes, and I want you to be there. Are you serious? Yes. Hey, a big congratulations to you, my prince. I must be the first to attend. Of course, yes, because um, I want you to perform for me on that day. Perform? Um, you see, I want you to be there because I want to hear you sing on that day. Sing? What song could I possibly sing that would be better than the people you invite? Well, any one of your choice, any one of your songs will be nice. I just want to hear your melodious voice on that day. No problem, my prince. I must be there. That's the most important thing. Of course, yes. <laughs> and I'll be looking out for you. Okay, Okay, my prince. Thank you very much. Okay, my prince. Take good care of you, huh? Yes. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Congratulations, all. so beautiful. Thank you so much. So where are we up to? Well, um, we'll be headed to the palace because our wedding planner has requested to see you. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, let me call my girlfriend. I'm sure she'll go with us. Very well then. I will be waiting. Okay, see you in a minute. Good.
Hi. Good day, Your Majesty. Who is this? Oh, she's my friend. She's British. Her name is Karen. She's my best friend. Oh, sorry, ladies. They are bringing more sets. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So, who is the event planner? There. Yeah. Do you have a problem with her? Yes, I do. I'm just thinking why someone that don't know how to match colors be my event planner. Sophia! You don't even know this woman, madam. Why would you speak to her like that? I don't need to know her. She's quack is orbited all over her. Excuse me. You don't treat people you don't know like that. You don't even know me. I don't need to know you. And that's why I can't have a discussion with you because you can't be my event planner. Sorry, Your Majesty. I can't continue taking this insult from her. <laughs> I'm leaving. Why can't I get out? Sophia, stop! What? Mother, did, did you hear that? Did, did you hear her? Mama, it's okay. First of all, you walked in and said hi to everyone. Is that a greeting or something? Are you okay? And what is wrong in saying hi? Hi is a general greeting accepted in the world. So why can't you answer hi? My son has been complaining about your arrogant attitude. And now I can see it. I have been the one begging my son. Oh Lord. No. You have not been the one begging your son. Do you think you're doing me a favor in this marriage? No. I am the one doing you a favor. I am the one wanting to do you a favor and not the other way around. Do you know who is standing here before you? I am a graduate of Oxford University, London, with distinction. I am the best student of an academic year. Do you know how many international corporate bodies and institutions that are waiting for me to say yes to the proposal? I'm sure you don't know about it. And you look at someone to tie me down here with marriage. And I will not stand here to take this nonsense from you. Looking at you right now, I'm beginning to imagine if you went to school at all. I will need to talk to your father. Nonsense. What's that? What? What's that? What? Oh, thank God, Mother. Everything happened in your presence. You saw it all. You just have to calm down, son. How am I supposed to calm down now? How? Because at this point, the Supreme Law will take its course. The Supreme Law? And what is the Supreme Law you're talking about? Your father's choice. You and I made your father a promise before he died. So, for that reason, I would have to marry a woman I do not love. A woman that everything about her irritates me. Come on, mother. Yes, you have to. It's not all about you. It's about the throne. And this is marriage we're talking about too. A woman I will spend the rest of my life with. And it's also your father's choice we're talking about here. Your father's choice is in line with our tradition. The king has to choose a wife for his son before he ascends the throne. That which your father did is tradition and not the choice. Come down, son, you will be fine, okay? Trust me. Hmm. 
unrealistic and honest. That was rather too rude of you. No, no, Karen. No, Karen. You have to stay away from this. I can't be brought all the way from my bro to this village to be treated as nothing. No, I can't. Please. Anybody that wants me to know that I'm a virgin, I should be treated as one. Yes. Okay, fine. What if he calls off the marriage now? Who does this then? Me or him? It took me years to build this reputation. And I'm going to stick with it. Whether marriage or not, that doesn't matter. Whatever. At the end of the day, who does this? Keep acting like a boss lady. Your Majesty. Oh no, your, your Majesty. daughter is causing a lot of problem in this palace. How, Your Majesty? I understand that she read a lot of books. But she shouldn't show herself all the time. I can't think that you, Your Majesty. Your daughter's arrogance is causing a lot of problems. She is so rude that she doesn't recognize anyone around her. And that attitude of hers pisses my son off. In fact, it throws my son away. Several he has tried to call off this marriage, but I keep pushing him. But each time I push him into it, she will still misbehave. You need to see the stupid attitude she exhibited a few hours ago. Really? Oh no, I understand very well that you want her to be the queen of this kingdom, but you should make her understand the significance in that post she's about to carry. She should bring herself down, lower her guard, and be like a normal human being. I will be in my chamber for now. That woman and her son want to run down my reputation. And I will not take it. Now tell me the truth and nothing but the truth. What actually transpired? What happened? First of all, Father, she complained. I said hi. What's wrong to say hi? That's a greeting. Father, even with all my exposure, she wants me to stoop so low to their mentality. I will not do that. Even Queen Elizabeth accepts her as an official greeting. Who is she not to accept her? She wants me to prostrate on the floor by greeting her. Father, I will not do such a thing. This is Africa. My daughter. Father. In Africa, kings and queens are treated with much respect. You will soon become one. You will soon become the queen. And you will be treated with such respect. Huh? We do that because it's our heritage. Are you hearing me? I mean, I don't see anything wrong in bowing to a queen. I'm not African, but I know it's normal here. So I bow down while I greeted her. Can you hear you? Can you hear you? Your friend? Do you follow me? You just went there and said hi to the queen. Hi. No, oh, what you did? But she bowed before the queen. Why can't you follow suit? Let me remind you. <clears throat> I was the one that gave you the best of education. And becoming the queen of this kingdom could be a great way of saying thank you. Great thank you to your father who did all this for you. Please, you dare not mess it up for me. Don't! Because if you dare, then I will take it that you have treated me with maximum disrespect. Because if you do, I will take you as my enemy. Already? You know the kind of desperate father you have, or don't you? Have you forgotten? You have the right. Think! You have the right. Huh? Yes, Talk some senses into her, daddy. Her, daddy. But there's nothing. I'll show you that. Ah. Mama, I've been thinking. Thinking about what? 
I need to look good for that princess marriage. But I don't have good clothes to wear. I want to buy Okrika. First grade? Exactly, Mama. <laughs> it's necessary. You need to look good. Yes. I can't wear that now for somebody. <laughs> Mama, <laughs> it's not even that. Ah. I don't have any other beautiful clothes except that uniform dress I wear in the palace. And I no longer work there. If not, I would have worn the uniform. The clothes I have here are not looking good anymore. No, as you see. Well, you're right. Just get something good. Eh, by the way, what song are you going to sing for them? Hmm. Mama. Eh? When I compose that song, I normally sing for you. Were you there? Oh. Where you? Eh, you weren't. So calm down. Oh. When the time is right, you will hear this one and you will love it. But before then, the prince and his bride will have to hear it first, before any other person. Oh, chebuem. <laughs> oh, chebuem. <laughs> oh, no. Mm -hmm. Tell me what I need to hear. Uh, Your Majesty. Yes. Thank you for. I'm already enjoying myself. Yes, okay. Your Majesty, I'm so sorry for what happened at that time in the palace and other days. In fact, I spoke extensively to my daughter. And she she's also very sorry. She sent me to this place to come and apologize on her behalf. Please. Hmm? It's okay. Thank you. It's okay, that's very good. Your Majesty, what about the press? Oh, my son is very angry right now. He threatened to end that marriage, but I know he can't. <clears throat> well, you're right. He has no choice. Tradition made it that way that the king must choose a wife for the heir apparent to the throne. So he has no choice. Yes. It's okay. You're welcome, you know. Meanwhile, I'm still vibing. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. How is the family? Thank you. But mother, I have a choice. It is my life. How can you say I do not have a choice over the woman I would make my wife for the rest of my life? How? Because you're the heir apparent to the throne. Then to hell with royalty. To hell with royalty. I can never sacrifice my happiness and joy on the altar of royalty. Never. I would rather go back to America and live my life the way I used to. And that will never happen, son. You are going nowhere. How did you even come up with that thought in the first place? The throne that your father left under your care? That will not happen. You want them to throw me out of this palace and make me a commoner? No, that will not happen. Ben, mother, allow me to find a wife of my own. My own choice. A woman I will love. My own wife. The choice my father made for me is not working. I, I will not work. I can't work, mother. Come on, son. Onowu has spoken with the daughter. And she has apologized. In fact, she promised that she will never try that nonsense again let's just give her a trial okay let's proceed with the marriage one day you will come to me and tell me thank you for this wonderful choice we made for you and we are making right now for you okay Your Majesty, I'm very sorry to dishonor your request. But I don't think I can continue this work. You have to look for another event planner to handle your events for you. I'm sorry. You see, people that recommended you said you're the best. So I don't intend to use another. Your Majesty, your daughter in law. You are working for me and not my daughter in law. And I don't take no for an answer. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I can't continue this job. 
because anything I do, she won't appreciate it. I have pleaded severally for you to forgive her excesses, or should I go ahead and plead some more? Should I plead? Should I continue? If I should continue with the job, Your Majesty, I don't want to see your daughter-in-law during my planning. I will do my thing, she follows my order. I will let see her on that day. Granted. <coughs> Second, Your Majesty, the date has to be shifted to enable me plan well. I don't understand why. Your Majesty, two weeks to plan was too short. We were working on it to make it work out before the break. Now we've wasted four days out of the 14 days. I, I'm sorry, Your Majesty, I don't think there is any magic we can do in 10 days. This is an elaborate occasion. At least, you can inform your guest now. One week addition won't hurt. Granted, Elsa. Thank God the marriage didn't fail. Mm -hmm. I almost thought we lost it. Like I care. Cut the crap, Sophia. Why are you sounding like that? Sounding like what? See, I have my own dreams. I have my life to live. Coming down to Africa to get married to one local champion was never part of my own dreams. I'm just doing this for my father. Girlfriend, no matter what dream a woman thinks she has, deep inside, if she can tell herself the truth, you will know that you're totally incomplete without a man. A man to fill in that gap. A man to call your husband. Do you understand? Girlfriend, you have to give this man a chance. Sophie, look, I'm your friend. I'm your bestie. I would lie to you. Can you just calm down? You're so rigid, you're so hard. This, 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 this is crazy. This end of state. This is someone you're going to spend the rest of your life with. Why are you being so difficult? Why are you being so rigid about this? I want you to be happy, babe. I want you, I love you so much. You're my friend. Oma. How do I look? Hey! <laughs> you look beautiful! Lovely! Thank you! Yeah. So I'm good to go. Yes. <laughs> so why don't you um, sing the song for me first? So you'll be sure that you know it very well. Of course I know the song, Mama. Oh, I know your trick, Mama. You want me to sing the song for you first before I sing it to the original owners. I will oh. not do that. I will sing it for them before I come back and sing it for you. Better hurry up. They might be waiting for you by now. No problem, Mama. I'll soon be back. Okay. And I'll bring something for you. Okay, Mama, let me go. Uh, hey, hey. You go. Please mama. get me rice and chicken. Hey, Mama. Even if it's the half eaten chicken, I do not <laughs> mind. Even if it's the skin that big people remove, bring it back for your mother. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'll pack everything. Even hey, I, hey. I don't saw you. Big I'll go. bring everything for I'll you. I'll go for a lot of I know, I can't do that, Mama. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'll go back to watch it. I'm going to see any other chicken. I'm going to see any other chicken. Hey, I'm going to go to the man. My friend, how are you doing? I am fine. So what are you doing here? I, I came for your marriage. Is oh. today not your personal marriage? <laughs> I am so sorry I forgot to tell you. It has been postponed till next week. Uh, 
What happened? Um, a long story. By the way, you tell me. I am so sorry about that. Okay. No problem. I have to do my need then. Ah uh, no no um no come on, come inside. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you. Let's go. I do not have your number. If not, I would have called you to inform you of the post moment. Oh, yes. there's no problem, my prince. But I think I have to be on my way now. Why? You've not even had your drink. No, I don't want to drink. Liji, huh? you don't seem to be all right. What is it, is it? No, my, my prince, I'm very, very fine. I'm fine. Talk to me. What is it? My prince. To tell you the truth, I do not want your mother to come out here and see you and I like this. And what's wrong with that? I know your mother. I don't, I don't, I don't want her to get mad at me. My prince, it's an error for you to be seen seated with an ordinary palace maid like me. Please, I have to go. Now, who gave you that information? Hmm? I know my prince. Hey, your mother, she's coming. I told you, I have to go. Hey. I said sit! Oh. Oh. What is going on here? Your mother. Majesty. What are you doing with this dirty commoner? You don't know her? Like this. And you, you have the guts to sit with my son. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I'm sorry. Did you? Mother, what was the meaning of that? You are not ashamed of yourself. Mother, you have no right to do it. Mother, you have no right whatsoever to talk to my guests like that. And who is your guest? You should be ashamed of yourself. Why should I be ashamed of myself? You will not happen to so-called daughter-in-law. But yes, you would the same. Why would you treat others as though they were less human? Why? Because you are better than them? I won't stand there to listen to this nonsense. Mother, you must apologize to her. Did I hear you right? Of course you heard me. And I am serious about it. May God have mercy on you. Stupid. Mother, I am serious about this. You must apologize to her. I've, I've never been humiliated all my life. It's okay, my daughter. It's okay. <laughs> he that is down needs fear no fall. What are you talking about humiliation? You're a poor girl. So humiliation is part of your life. The daughter of a poor woman. Can you find her cousin? We are humiliation personified. That's not what should make you cry. Oh, when you're dehumiliated by nature. Must be a dream. Somebody wake me up. Must be a night. Man, cause I can't believe this is happening. Must be a joke. Now. What are you doing here? Uh, uh, no. Mama. No. Listen. Uh, you're welcome. I, I, I wanted to get a, a wound. Okay, Mama. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm um, DJ. You see, I came to apologize on behalf of my mother. <laughs> I'm truly sorry for the embarrassment. You see, you were my guest. 
And so you were not supposed to be treated the way you were over there. So please, do forgive my mother and I. You shouldn't have stressed yourself coming here. It wasn't necessary. I'm not angry with you. Uh, are you sure about that? Huh? Yes, I am. Okay then. Um, smile for me if you're not angry. <laughs> DJ. You know what? Um, what about you singing that song you were supposed to sing for us today? Maybe later, not today. No. I've been crying, I need to rest. No, no, no. You see, I want to hear it first. As a matter of fact, it's been a long time I heard you sing. So please, do me a favor and sing for me. Give me some minutes, let me drink water. I'm coming, so we'll sit there. Okay then, I will be waiting. I'm glad you like it, my prince. No. I don't like it. I love it. Thank you so much. And I should be the one thanking you. So thank you. You're welcome, my prince. What's an angelic voice? Such a gift to humanity. Yes.
Majesty. What? You stole my son's picture? No, Your Majesty. I'm not a thief. You? I... You went into my mother's room to steal my picture? No. Emma. Um... Dad, my prince. Your Highness. I, I, I'm not a thief, please. Lock her up in the uh, palace cell. I couldn't I have stolen it. My mother is dying. She needs it. Ella, Your Majesty, please. My mother is dying. Please, Your Majesty. Stop the car. Come. Call that girl for me. Yes, my prince. The prince won't talk to you. You say you should come into the car. What do you mean I should come into the car? Stand up, my friend. You said, you said I should come into the car. Well, oh yes. Please get into the car. Come. 
My dear. My prince. How are you? I'm fine. Good afternoon. Where are you going to? You know, um, I opened um, a little mini shop at the farm settlement with that money you gave me. So my goods got finished. Oh, I went to buy things for my shop. Well, that's good. That's very good news. Yes, my prince. Hey, I'm so happy to see you today. <laughs> <laughs> well, same here. Well, you see, my traditional wedding is coming up next week, Saturday. Yes, and I want you to be there. Are you serious? Hey, a big congratulations to you, my prince. I must be the first to attend. Of course, yes, because um, I want you to perform for me on that day. Perform? Um, you see, I want you to be there because I want to hear you sing on that day. Sing? What song could I possibly sing that would be better than the people you invite? Well, any one of your choice, any one of your songs will be nice. I just want to hear your melodious voice on that day. No problem, my prince. I must be there. That's the most important thing. Of course, yes. <laughs> and I'll be looking out for you. Okay, Okay, my prince. Thank you very much. Okay, my prince. Take good care of you, huh? Yes. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Congratulations, sir. Thank Timbae, timbae, wo 
Do you like this one? Yes. Are you sure about this? They're two kinds. Yep. Um, this to be. <clears throat> and check. Hey, this is beautiful. You like it? Yes, I do. So you can have that one. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just thinking, where are we going to Spain? Oh, well, honey. I'll talk to you. You made a choice. Maybe Paris, Calcutta. Um, I think Dubai. 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 Where will that Dubai it is? Wow. Well, thank you. So when are we getting our papers ready? Well, that's not a problem. I will have to call my agents. Okay. Uh -huh. So when they're ready, I just have to pick up your your passport and okay. put a stamp there. That's nice. Yes, it's not a problem. It's so yes, it is. I see. It's very beautiful. Finally, get to see what you like. Very much. Yes. I like this. I like the style in there. You like style. Oh. Yes. Mm. It's very nice. Wow. Good up stuff, sir. Okay. Up there. Treat that young man like that. Really? You stand here and watch that man pour a drink on me? But he apologized to you. would have stepped up because he's very stupid and callous. Are you raising your voice at me? Yes, I am raising my voice at you. How can you stand here and watch this barman pour a drink on me and you have nothing to say about it? For Christ's sake, he apologized to you. very stupid for pouring drink on me. You know what? What? I am done with this. Done? This whole shit. With I what? am done with everything. I am done. Give me that. Come here. No! I, I, I said, give you, me you can do that. Give you me can. that. You can do my sister. I'm gonna go home. Are you leaving me here? Here. Now, this is enough money to pay for the drink and your car. You go home yourself. You can do You're done. Oh, You're done. I must say, you're doing a great job here. Thank you, Majesty. I love this. Mother, I have had enough. It is over. This marriage is cancelled. And what kind of stupid joke is that, son? Not a joke, mother. It just can't walk. Give me a few minutes, my dear. I will be right back. Are you going to say? done a lot and a lot has been spent. Kings, dignitaries are all invited and you're standing in my presence telling me that this wedding will not hold. Are you not joking? You're a joker, son. Mother, because of you and my late father, 
I have tried so hard, so hard, to ignore her ill character just for this wedding to hold. But each time I do that, she unleashes the devil in her. Mother, where did father find that evil girl for me to marry? That girl is evil. Oh, come on, stop it. That girl is not evil. I understand what her problem is. She's arrogant. She is rude. That I understand. No, mother. You do not know her. That girl is evil. That girl has no human sympathy. She has no human conscience. Nothing. I mean, nothing on earth will ever make me marry that girl. Come on, please, son. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to your late father. Oh, no, mother. Don't do this to us. I... Oh, no, mother. Do not beg me. For that marriage will be a mirage. Marriage to me is a union between two people who have a lot in common and are compatible. And not the other way around. Mother, this conversation is over. Deepa, please. Please don't do this. I'm finished. Must be a dream. Somebody wake me up. Must be a night. Majesty, you have to put everything on hold. For now. Majesty, I will call you when I need you. Must be a dream Somebody wake me up Must be a night Man, cause I can't believe This is happening Must be a joke Now No, father, that boy is mean. He's a beast. Why? He called up the marriage. What happened? He called up the marriage. What? Yes, he is. My daughter. Father. Hmm? You don't have to be there. It is beyond his powers to call off the marriage. He cannot just do that. No matter how much he tries, he can't. Okay? Just go inside your room, freshen up yourself, and do what? And take a rest. Oh? Okay. Um, leave it for me to handle. I'll take care of it. Let me go and sort it. Oh? I'll handle it myself. Every girl who wants to get married to the man that she loves tends to hide her ugly characters from the man until after marriage. You can't be showing yourself like that. It doesn't work that way. Why should I hide my character? Why? Why should they have poured drink on me? But it was an accident. You wouldn't have died if you had just accepted the apology and pretended like nothing happened. And I don't fake things. This is me. I am so damn few. Whatever. Whatever too. I was told that you are here. Sit down. Thank you, Your Majesty. 
Mm. Did you see your daughter before coming? Yes, that's why I'm here. Good. She cried back home because the place abandoned her and the place they went to after calling on the marriage. Did you bother to ask her what really transpired between both of them? I did not because I know that whatever it is can be resolved. And it must be resolved now. The prince must be made to understand that there's no power to reject his father's choice of wife for him. Not even now that he's dead. Remember, this is capable of disqualifying him from being the next king of our kingdom. So now what do we do now? You must talk some senses into the press. <laughs> Let him know that it's either he gives the father's last wish or he leaves his throne alone. To hell and the tradition! I said to hell with your tradition! Oh no! You cannot use the tradition to force your daughter on me! I will not marry your daughter and that is final! Hey! You prepare to leave the throne alone. Leave that throne alone. You have me. Leave that throne alone. Alone. My joy. My happiness. And peace. Are more important to me than that throne. If becoming the king of this kingdom is bent on marrying your daughter, then I would rather become a commoner. This meeting is over. Uh, no, no, please. Um, don't make any decision yet. Let me talk to my son. I will be right back. Please. Thank you. Digma! Digma! Drone is rightfully yours. So if you think in this your drama that you will leave that throne for another to sit on it, you must be a joker. Maybe when I'm dead, but as long as I am alive, I will not sit and watch someone sit on the throne that is rightfully yours that my husband left for you. That will not happen and get that into your thick skull. Nonsense. Rubbish. The marriage is just being postponed and not suspended. The marriage will still go on. Just give me some time to re-strategize on how to handle this. I beseech you, please. I have had no majesty. I'm waiting for My daughter, please don't mind your father. Don't mind me. So how did it go? Perfectly well. Everything is still intact. So the marriage has not been cancelled? Who is talking about cancelling the marriage? Eh? The only one that has the power to cancel the marriage is the Igwe, the king. And the Igwe is dead. So, your marriage can never be cancelled again as long as both of you are still alive. You had me well. Huh? He said 
outside the marriage is going to hold. <gasps> Thank God. Thank God about what? What is it thank God about? Seriously, if they're not ready for this marriage, you should let me know so I can fly back to where I'm coming from. You gotta be freaking kidding me. I am not freaking kidding you. I am freaking serious, girl. I'm not caught up for this. Whatever. Today, tomorrow. Mm. Wedding, wedding, wedding. No wedding. wedding no wedding. I Good morning, Your Majesty. Good morning. Your Majesty, I've come to clean your chamber. Leave. But, Your Majesty, I said leave. I'm sorry. I want you. On your cause, I'm On your cause, Something terrible is wrong in this palace. <laughs> I suspect something, my dear. What could that be? I suspect the king is dead already. And guess what? The queen is doing everything humanly possible for the prince to get married to Nobu's daughter. But doesn't like her. I suspected that too. They shifted the date of the traditional wedding the other day. I don't know what next they are up to. My dear, oh, this one she sent you out of her chambers and prefers to stay there untidy thinking. It must have really gone bad though. May <laughs> God help them. Amen. This is on his way again. Eh? What is he coming to do again? I'm sick and tired of the way he keeps coming to see you. Next thing now, the wife will start seeing you as a rival. He can't drop him. And you know what that means? I know, Mama. I don't know where he has come. I'm leaving. I don't even want to talk to him. Mama, where are you going? I'm mad. Where are you going? Where are you going? What? Or are you not happy to see me? I never said so. So what is it? Nothing. I was preparing to go to my shop at the farm settlement. Very well then. Let me take you there. No. What will people say? My prince, have you forgotten that you'll be getting married this weekend? Huh? You should be concentrating on your wife. And DJ, are we not friends again? Of course we are friends. And like I promised, I will attend your marriage and sing for you and your wife. But I can't be seen with you going to my shop. No, I don't want trouble at all. I don't uh, want. Dichi, you see, there is something I I wanted to discuss with you. Huh? What is that? You see, I um, you know, um, I. What? Never mind. I will see you at the marriage. Okay? Alright. Good. Must be a dream. Somebody wake me up. Must be a night. Man, cause I can't believe this is happening. Must be a joke. This can't be happening You have me right in my dream Singing for me, dancing for me I went to see someone. 
And who is the person? Now that's none of your business, mother. Come here. Majesty. You are the one that drives him around. Where are you both coming from? Your Majesty, I think you must know about this. About what? The prince is in love with Indiche. That is why he's no longer interested in marrying Sophia. Who is Indiche? Indiche is the maiden you sent away from the palace. I can't remember any maiden. The maiden that went away with the prince's photo in your chamber. What? Ndiche? Are you sure of what you're saying? Yes, Your Majesty. This is ridiculous. And we have been visiting our mother's hut lately. And that's where we are coming back from, Your Majesty. What? How can the prince stoop so low? to visit a commoner in this village. How? Uh, go, go, go. Must be a dream. Somebody wake me up. Must be a night. Man, cause I can't believe this is happening. Must be a joke. This is not possible. This is timely. What do I do now? Confront him? No. That would take a long process and take a lot of time. That village girl is just a distraction and every distraction must be taken away. Yes. Get the car, you're taking me to know who's house. Let me get some of this for last time. Oh, stop forgetting the car!
being stupid. How can your daughter bring such an insult to my family? What is the meaning of that? Why is she insulting my home? Why is she always doing what she's doing? I am angry with this. My son is very angry. I am sorry. Stop telling me sorry. It's Put your daughter in order. This her manners. I am doing my best with that. You see? I know she will pick up on time. And your best is not working for me. It's not working for me. I'm getting tired. I 
I have to do this. Yes. I have to let her know that the marriage has been cancelled. I have to let her know how I feel right now. How I have fallen in love with her. Yes. I have to do this. To let her know this. What happened here? <laughs> Yesterday night, we said something funny seriously. So we have to dress it to the heart. Maybe do it to our what, what about all the people in there? What happened to them? I was with them yesterday night, so we were discussing. So I told them good night. And we are out there. We are out there. Nobody is in there. Nobody is in there. What? 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 What?
Ondawo. Mm -hmm. Your Majesty. You will remember. I hope your boys did a good work. <laughs> uh, you need to see. Hmm? Ah, my son you need is... to work. Perfect <laughs> work. No transition. My son is back, my son. What a pity, Your Majesty. Went to visit his friend Ndichi, and we found out that Ndichi got burned with a murder in the hut. What? Too bad. Go. That was a good job. <laughs> My boys are accurate. Perfect work. Wonderful. No traces. There can be no traces. <laughs> Your Majesty. My son, let me go and see myself. What she meant to me. I didn't tell her. I was in love with her. Please, why? Why did you have to die? Why? Why did you save yourself for me? Why? Why did you save yourself for me? Why? Why? How do I be? How do I be? Let's Let's tell me. How do I live like this? Why? How do I survive?
Perfectly under control. Mm? Relax for a little time now. I see things shaping up. Father, I am here because of this marriage. If not, if it's not going to work, then you go back to the UK. I'm not doing anything here. And who told you it's not going to work? Father, I hate him. I do. I do nothing. I have an idea. What's the idea, Father? If you don't have anything doing, go ahead and play your games. Father? Yes. But for this marriage, I have told you, it must surely work. And nothing on earth will make it not to work. Assurance from your father. Hmm? My daughter. The pretty one. One in a million daughter. One in a million daughter. Hello, Mom. Yes, come in. Yes, dear. I've come to lay a complaint. What complaint? It's been three days now. The prince has refused to eat anything. And each time the food is being served to him, he keeps rejecting them. What? Why? I don't know. See anybody? Dingpa, open the door. I want to talk to you. I said, go away. Dingpa, I am not anybody. I am your mother. Open this door. Dingpa, open the door. Let me come in. Dingpa, open the door. Let me come in. Open the door. Let me come in. So you can see whatever you want to see, brother. I don't want to see anybody. I will break this door if you don't open this door. Then break it if you want. Dingpa, I know that you're depressed. You need someone to talk to. You need your mother now. Open the door. Let me talk to you. I do not need anyone. I know who I need. Dingpa. Okay, let me show you something. No! 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 Onyam Horonanya, they 
I think we misfired. What is the problem? My son is going to depression right now and I think he's in love with that girl. How did you come to that conclusion? For three days now he has not eaten anything. He locked himself up in his room and has refused to open for anyone including me. Is you cool? Huh? No, I'm thinking of breaking down that door. No, you don't have to. You don't have to. Let us give him uh, the whole of today. If at the end of the day he didn't open, then tomorrow. I know I'm so confused right now. Don't be here. Because I know it is not going to be easy for him. Hmm? But with time, you'll get over it. So relax. Hmm? Study for now, you know that. Are you deaf? Are you deaf? Can't you hear our sing for me? She's singing for me. My prince, that might be your dream. Get me the keys. Get me the keys. My prince. I said, get me the keys to the final cell. Now. Now. My prince, I told you there's no, there's no, there's no prisoner here. She's not here. But I, I, I heard, I heard a voice. I heard a voice. She was singing and and and, and crying for me. I, I heard a voice. Did you hear, did you hear it? No, oh, my prince. That must be your dreams. No, no, not in my dreams. I, I am sure what I heard. I. She, 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 she was singing for me. Yes, not in my dreams. She, she was, she was, she was singing for me. Oh, my prince, my prince, please calm she, down. She was, she was crying. She I was know, crying. I understand, my prince. Yes, calm down. She's alive. Please, I beg you, calm down, please. My prince, you really need some rest, please. No. You've stressed a lot, please. But did you hear it? Did, did you hear her voice? I can't hear nothing. It was, it was, it was, it was, oh my it was right here, right here. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I heard, she, she, she was, was singing and, and she, she, she was crying. Yes, I heard it, 
I, it was so, 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 so nice. Her voice was so nice. My, my prince, please, you need a rest, please. No, 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 Okay, my Roman is so cool. Saying he wants to see the prisoner. I said to him, there was no prisoner in the palace cell. He insisted that he is hearing a voice. Then to clear his doubt, I went for the palace cell key. Then we went in and discovered there was nobody in the palace cell. Then he was convinced and went back to the room. Uh -huh. Your Majesty, I think the prince needs medical attention at this time. Mother, mother, did, did you see her? Did you see her? See who? Did you see her? Did you? Did you see her? Did you see her? Dingpa, what is wrong with you? I've not seen anything. Did you see her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dingpa, what is wrong with you? Did you? Did you? Did you? She's alive. She's singing for me. She's singing for me. She's singing for me. This is alive. Mother, she's singing for me. She's singing for me. Yes. I'm calm. I'm calm. She's singing for me. She's singing for me. I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm calm. You're not singing for me. Dingpa. 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 What came out of my name? Catch it! Mother, I can't believe. Mother, how can you treat me like this? How can you treat me? I can pass my life like this. Mother, how can you treat me like this? 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 Mother, how can Suffering from post traumatic effect. The incident that led to the death of the one he loved, mm. the shock traumatized him. 
that is why he is behaving exactly the way he is. Doctor, you have to do something. Look for a way and put things together. So that he doesn't go insane. He's the next person to take over this drug. I'm aware. I'm aware. Uh, he's not about to go insane. No. He, you see, he's finding it hard to believe that the girl is dead. Hmm. But with time, he will actually come to terms with the truth. Hmm. That is uh, the reason he's behaving this way. He will be fine. There's nothing to worry about. That, that you're saying I should keep him in bond? No, 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 no. I've already set him free. There's no need huh? for that. Trust me. There's no need to worry. Everything will be fine. Trust me. It's okay. Doctor, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Very sure. He'll be fine. <sighs> okay. Yes, I'll be on my way now. Okay. It's okay, Doctor. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. The doctor said he's going through a lot right now. Going through trauma and shock. Mm. I know it. I told you. Yes, I told you. No. We should exercise patience. We are still on course. Okay? You will be fine. I understand you, Your Majesty. It's just that my daughter is... Your daughter should also exercise patience. Does she understand the position she's about to sit on? Does she even realize what you and I are going through to put her in that position? She should calm down and, and, and have patience. She just thank her God that my husband chose her. Any other girl would do anything to sit on that seat. So she should be patient. Oh no. I believe in your majesty. Thank you. Sir, I'm so happy that you're fully recovered now. Oh, thank you very much, mother. I have a plan. A plan? Well, if it has to do with you know whose daughter, then count me out. I am not interested. Why not hear me out first? Very well, mother. You can go ahead. So the bone of contention here is a thorn. Once you get married, you've won the war. Whether you stay happily married or unhappy is nobody's business. After all, marriage is still death. You have a lot of widows and widowers, so... Mother. Mother, I do not understand. You mean I have to marry someone I do not like? Someone I do not love? The woman I have no feelings for and wait until death separates us. It makes no sense. You see, these days, son, we take our destinies into our own hands. Mother. Greetings, your highness. There is a stranger at the gate requested to see the prince. And who is a stranger and what is his name? I wouldn't know. Well, bring him in at once. Bring him in where? In here? A stranger? Very well then. I will go to the city street. Prince, I have a message for you from Ndiche. Which Ndiche are you talking about? My Prince, the Ndiche you know very well. She and her mother survived the fire incident and they are alive. Ndiche is alive? Y yes, my Prince. Bring him in. Because I can't believe this is happening, it must be a joke now. Mother. Yeah, who is it? It's Ndichi's neighbor. Oh, what is the message? Ndichi <laughs> is alive and well. I need to go see how she's doing now, okay? 
I need to go. Yes, mother. I will be back. I will be back, mother. Are you taking me to my prince? Just follow me. Wait, my prince. Wait, my prince. Can you hear that? Yes, that, that, that's a voice. voice. She's alive. Yes, I told she's her. alive. Yes, her. yes. Take that's me there. Voice. Take me there. Is that really you? My prince! You're alive! <laughs> My prince! <laughs> you, you will! You will! I miss you, my prince! I, I missed you too! I missed you so much! I miss you! Thank God you're alive. Thank God you're alive. We almost passed out because of the smoke. The smoke was too much. I was actually choking. But luckily for us, Imam walked into the house helped us out and revived us. That was how we regained strength. And then he told us that he was amongst the people sent to kill us. What? And who sent them? I wouldn't know, my prince. Though the man told us that on his way home, his conscience was pricking him. That was why he had to come back to see if he would help us. Then, luckily for us, we were still alive when he came back. Then he helped us. You should take me to him. He must take us to who sent him. By the way, wh where is Mama? The man equally told us not to stay in that settlement anymore. That those people will come back for us. That is why we have come here. But Mama went to see the caretaker of this place to see if we'll be staying here for the meantime. The truth is that Mama will not be happy seeing you here when she returns because she believes that my intimacy with you is the cause of this uh, predicament. Ndiche, your mother was right. Yes, she was right. 
But all the same, I am happy you sent Onye to the palace to give me the information. But you know what? Today marks the end of all your sorrows. You are Mama. You know, I, I never knew how much I loved you. Yes. <laughs> Until the day you sang for me at your old heart. That day, I made up my mind to end my marriage plans and marry you instead. You did that? Ndichi, don't you love me? Uh, um, my prince, I, I know you're my idol, but the marriage yeah. is... Ndichi, be my wife. Let me stand by you forever. Let me protect you. Let me be your man. Please. Let me be by your side. I'm happy you're back to me. Yes. And I am also happy. Mm -hmm. Good. So what are your plans now? Good. Hey! Mama. You're back. Ne. Because of this man, we almost lost our lives. Now you're putting our lives at risk again. Eh? Old Mama, you're welcome. You see, this woman here that has caused you so much pain has today brought you unimaginable blessings. And as for those people that try to take your lives, they have met their doom. Huh. How? What do you mean? Well, Mama, what I am trying to see in essence is I will be taking you both out of here. To somewhere safer until my marriage with her is concluded. Margin. Marriage. W what did you say? Margin. Yeah. Husband, wife, and marriage. Yes, Mama. Exactly. Before we follow you. Can you please tell us where you're taking us to? Well, Mama, like I said, somewhere safer. Mm. Um, see, the seven-star hotel will be better. A hotel? Yes, Mama. With seven on it. <laughs> I, I have, I mean, we have never been to a hotel before. I have. You, Jenny, you have? No, I haven't done. I'm just joking. <laughs> how, how would we behave when we get there? <laughs> eh? It's not a problem, Mama. Okay. Okay, before we go, let me go and bring our A-grade or Krika. That's what we'll go with. We'll bring the A-grade. No, Mama, no, Mama. You won't be needing those anymore. Because I, I have made orders for you. Nice clothes for you two. From Turkey and America, the best of them. <laughs> Turkey and America? Yes, Mama. More gay American clothes? Of course. Not second hand? Of course, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> what about mm. your friend? Mm. Uh -huh. What about Onyeko Zulu? Well, Onyeko Zulu. Um, I'm thinking of making him my personal assistant. Hey, thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. You're welcome. But, Okura Hakuko, he didn't go to school. It's not a problem. We'll take care of that. But, uh, he can go for training. You can make him PA for food. He likes to eat and cook. <laughs> so, are we going now? Yes. Okay. Right away. Hi. Hey, let me bring the man. No, Mama, you won't be needing those anymore. See, is that my friend's boyfriend that bought that mat for me? Mama, if you lie on it, you'll just be dreaming of it. Mama, let's go, let's go, let's go. 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 Let's go, let
Is it true, son? Some men were sent to kill the DJ and her mother. Ha! But God Almighty is proven to be king. Amen! Ha! Where is she? Somewhere very safe. Until the police are done with the investigations. And I am ready with my marriage plans. The throne. You can't marry her. Mother! You can keep the throne. I have enough money to take care of DJ and her mother in the States. You can go ahead and find yourself another king. Must be a dream. Somebody wake me up. Must be a night. Man, cause I can't believe. This is happening, must be a joke. You can't do this. No. You can't. Move! 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 What is happening here? Can someone tell me what is happening here? You are under arrest. For what? For attempted murder and destruction of property with fire, powerfully with fire. You have a right to remain silent. Whatever you say, we use against the court of law. You lie. Do you know who I am? Do you? You can't take my father out of this place. Never. Do you want me to call the Inspector General of Police? No. I have the link to the president. You cannot take my father out of this place. No problem, madam. You can call whoever you wanted to call. Bring the person to our station. Don't take my father. Let's go. No. Move it. Don't, don't take my father. You Let's can't. Go. You can't. Can. Okay, move. Father. Move. Father. Now move. I'm coming. Let me. Let me. Father, I'm coming. Move it. Move it. Move it. Move it. What kind of life is this? My father just made mockery of me like a nobody. Finally, I won't have only listen to him at the first day. No, I'm going back to the UK and shit. Hey, homie. We did good to end up with this. He should serve his tent alone in the prison. Because he brought this upon himself. At the end of the day, this marriage didn't work out. Life is not always what we think it is. So how did it go? Your Majesty, who knew who must mind dead the burning of the hall. Yes. And the police are insisting they are taking him to court straight. Your Majesty, you know where you end This is very serious. Very, very serious. Very, very serious. How can a man do such evil against that innocent family? How? This is serious. This is. So, where have you been? The place is here. I have been with her. The one I love. The one everything in me wants to be with. DJ. I have come to pick up my things so I can leave back to the United States with DJ. I would rather be with the one I love than become the king of this kingdom 
and marry a woman I do not love. My friends, you are running your way. Yes. It's now obvious that the no must mind the burning of that thought. Yes. It's now open that the choice of your father is strong. For no to send people to burn the innocent girl and her mother is enough proof that the choice of your father is strong. <sighs> How can tradition is meant to keep a man and not to destroy a man? No one can use the tradition to do evil against his fellow human. Very, very wrong. Very we are just coming back from the meeting of the Council of Elders. <sighs> the choice of your father is strong. You can go ahead. That is our agreement and our decision. Or not, brother? You can go ahead and marry whosoever you wish to marry and see their king. And Ono who has really disappointed us, my friends. We have now decided that you will be our king. You have spoken with me. Evil blood. Evil blood. Let me know. <laughs> Your Majesty, you shouldn't do that. They shall have sinned against God and mankind. I have sinned against you. No, please, my dear, forgive me. No, my queen, you have not done anything wrong to me. I understand you. You were performing your motherly duties, and I do not have anything against that. Please, you don't have to kneel for me. I forgive you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, my queen. Son. Give me your hand. I join both of you up with all my heart. Thank you very much, man. Thank you, brother. Okay, Maramani, Well, I hope you don't mind. Huh? <laughs> of course I don't mind. I don't, you know. Okay then, I want you to close your eyes. Why should I? Because I'm the prince. Uh-huh. Of course. Okay, I will respect my prince then. <sighs> my eyes are closed. Very well. You can open them. Okay. Would you mind?
Okay, my man is so cool. Timbae, 